We're asked what type of transformation is represented below. Notice here we have scalar multiplication. We have three-fourths times a two by three matrix. To better understand this type of transformation, it's often helpful to think of the elements in this two by three matrix as coordinates to points on the coordinate plane, where the first row would be the x-coordinates, the second row would be the y-coordinates, and therefore each column would be a point on the coordinate plane. Let's call the first column point A, the second column point B, the third column point C. So if we were to plot these points on the coordinate plane and then connect them, we can form this blue triangle. Where this would be point A, this would be point B, and this would be point C. Now the coordinates of each of these points give us a particular location on the coordinate plane in relation to the origin. For example, for point A, from the origin we would go right eight units because the x-coordinate's positive eight, and then down four units because the y-coordinate is negative four. For the point C, from the origin we would go left six units because the x-coordinate's negative six, and then we'd go up six units because the y-coordinate is positive six. So we can think of the x and y-coordinates as directed horizontal and vertical distances from the origin. So if we were to multiply all the coordinates by three-fourths, it's going to shorten those distances and therefore make the triangle smaller by a factor of three-fourths. And that's the reason why this scalar multiplication represents a dilation with a scale factor of three-fourths. A dilation occurs when something is made smaller or larger without the shape changing. For example, for a sports logo, if you see a logo on, let's say, a shoe, and then you see a logo on a billboard, the shapes are exactly the same, it's just that one is smaller and one is much larger. Let's go ahead and perform the scalar multiplication, plot the new points on the coordinate plane, and compare the original triangle to the dilation. Performing the scalar multiplication, we'd have three-fourths times eight, which equals six, then we have three-fourths times negative six, which is negative nine halves, and then we have three-fourths times negative six again. So these would be the x-coordinates of the dilation. For the second row, we have three-fourths times negative four, that's negative three, three-fourths times negative four again, and three-fourths times six, which equals nine halves. So these would be the vertices of the dilation of this blue triangle with a scale factor of three-fourths. So the blue triangle is the original triangle, and the red triangle is the dilation with a scale factor of three-fourths. Notice how we have the same shape, but the red triangle is smaller by a factor of three-fourths. Whenever performing scalar multiplication, where the scalar is between zero and one, the shape gets smaller, and when the scalar is greater than one, the shape gets larger. I hope you found this helpful.